there may be some areas where you are going wrong in your ab workouts and your attempts at losing stomach fat. The biggest mistake people make is wasting way too much of their time training their abs directly, pumping away with all kinds of different abs specific exercises. A person tries so hard to get those abs to show that they're spending almost all of their time in the gym with hundreds of reps of various crunches, leg raises, twisting exercises, etc. Meanwhile, all of that wasted time directly training the abs could have been better spent on a properly designed full body workout program that would elicit a much better metabolic response and increase the fat burning hormone levels in their body as well. Losing the stomach fat that is covering the abs is the most important aspect for most people to finally make their abdominals visible. Unfortunately, pumping away with hundreds of crunches and leg raises does not cause much of a metabolic or fat burning hormonal response. What about old school sit ups? Are they good, bad, or does it depend? Sit ups are a controversial topic. They're not good or bad per se, but rather in between. You don't have to include them in your workout program simply because they are necessary. There are much more effective abs exercises to focus on, such as full body exercises which should make up the majority of your program, indirectly working the abs and the entire core area. However, include abs specific exercises into the routines generally about twice per week. The abs specific portion of the workouts generally only take about 5 minutes at most with very little rest between exercises. Get away from the exercises that are too easy, such as doing 50 or 100 reps. Instead, focus on higher resistance exercises that actually stimulate the muscle fibers to a much greater degree. One example of a higher resistance abs exercise is hanging leg raises with a proper pelvic curl up. You may find that despite having spent a lot of time doing hundreds of reps of crunches that you can only do a few solid reps when you first attempt some of these higher resistance exercises. Look at the big picture of what you're doing in your workout to stimulate the greatest metabolic response in your body. The best metabolic and hormonal response is achieved through variable intensity training and strength training, not slow steady pace cardio workouts. If you are really out of shape and can't handle higher intensity exercise routines just yet, this still doesn't mean that you can't simply use lower intensity routines, but still use it in a variable intensity fashion, by alternating between higher and lower exertion levels throughout the workout. For more information on how to lose your belly fat and achieve six-pack abs, go to www.stonecutabs.com. That's www.stonecutabs.com.